In this video, I'm going to tell you about a powerful NLP presupposition which states the map is not the territory. I'm going to explain to you what that means and also how you can apply it in your life. Let's dive in. Now, as you might have gathered by now, when I'm talking about maps, I don't mean like literal physical maps. I'm talking more about like mental maps, like the maps that we carry inside of our head. Now, this idea um, does not come from NLP, but it actually originates from the field of semiotics. It states that our mental representations of reality is distinct from reality itself. We create mental models to navigate the world, but this can also lead to like a lot of problems because we have to understand that the maps that we carry inside of ourselves, sometimes we may have maps that date back all the way from back when we were a child. And when you're a child and you're creating your mental maps from the first time, you may have experiences that may distort your map in such a way that it becomes out of touch with reality. So we all carry these maps, we all have these different distortions. And the important thing is being able to recognize the distortions on our maps or when our map doesn't correspond to reality and being able to shift them in such a way such that it becomes more in alignment and we're able to get more of the things we want in life rather than constantly feel like we're bumping up against reality. Now we use maps in our everyday lives. Like obviously like we use like actual maps. Like I'm sure we all got like Google Maps and Apple Maps and stuff like that. But another type of map could also be like social constructs, like genders, like roles, like ideologies. All of these concepts, all of these mental maps that we have influence our perception in obvious and in not so obvious ways. So the thing is like maps aren't necessarily a bad thing. They can be very useful and they can be very helpful for us if we use them in the right way. But it's important to understand that when it comes to our mental maps, just like with physical maps, like after a while they have to get updated. Like imagine for instance, like we were using maps that existed back from like the 1500s, like today in like 2024. Like that would be absolutely ridiculous. Like it would be completely like unreliable, inaccurate. So just like we can't use maps from back in the day to today, we also have to make sure that our maps are optimized for our current situation, for our current understanding, and being able to make those shifts long into the future. Because things are constantly gonna change. We're gonna get hit with ideas that's gonna change our perception. We may see things differently. Like we're constantly getting an influx of experiences on a day after day basis. And after a while, our maps are going to need to update if we can keep up and stay current with the way that things actually are. The most important thing is to realize that the, we have to notice that distinction between our mental maps and reality itself. A lot of times it's going to seem like they're one and the same thing, which is why we have to go back to the title of this video in the NLP presupposition, which states the map is not the territory. Like there was another quote too, which is along the same lines by this guy named Alan Watts, where he says the menu is not the meal. And it's basically the same thing. Like when you look at the menu, right? And it has like all of this delicious food, all these beautiful colors, like you're not gonna try and eat the menu and try to see if you can taste the food because that would be pretty ridiculous. Like the menu, could only point towards the types of food that you could try and the same thing comes with our like our mental maps our maps point towards things that actually exist but our maps are not the actual thing itself so by being able to understand that difference between how we perceive things and how things actually are we are we become much more willing to change things around on the inside so that way it better reflects what we see and perceive on the outside now, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you got a ton of value out of this video. And if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up because that really helps with the YouTube algorithm as well as just getting the video shared into more different places. Now, if you'd like to learn more about NLP or if you find this subject interesting, I highly recommend checking out my best-selling book titled NLP Handbook, The 80-20 of Neuro Linguistic Programming. Uh, the book is available on Amazon as well as wherever you normally get your books. Um, I'll leave a link to that down below. My name is Jacob Laguerre. I'm the founder of PCI Alpha. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.